previously on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Do you, you guys feel happy? I feel like it's easier, like all of us living in one house at the same time. I just want y'all to be back together, and then I don't have to be crying sometimes. Still talking about, about you in terms of 47 acres, been to GC and things like that, you know what I'm saying? We can possibly do everything together. Would you be willing to work with Mel on it? I mean, yeah, I would be open to working with her. I did test all you ladies about the Destiny race. I kind of didn't really like that you put it in a text group with them. Why didn't you call me oh, and ask me ass. about the event just like you normally do? I always call you. Your ass don't never call me. You're the one that wants to be an entrepreneur and want to be married. Be careful that the degree to which you want to succeed in entrepreneurship don't derail your relationship with your wife. We keep it moving all day, all night. Yeah. We keep it moving all day, all night. Yeah. right now. Have you spoken with the dancers yet? We need to make sure they're, you know, still rehearsing. So we only have a few days. Uh, okay, yeah, reach out and let me know. Um, I just had someone come in. Let me call you back in a minute. Okay. Hey, lady, how are you? <laughs> see you. Oh, how are you? I can't complain. Everyone is meeting at my office today because Kimmy decided that we should have a comeback group meeting to really decide if we could maybe move forward or if we really needed to go ahead and dissolve the comeback group. Now, I quit the comeback group years ago. Um, they should know by now with me, my word is my bond. And so it really kind of is bittersweet, you know, to be back in this space at this conference table having discussions about the comeback group. First of all, congratulations. The Destiny race was so cool. Thank you. For Thank real. You. Like, just being out there running, man, mm -hmm. it just did something to me. Destiny and I were talking about it afterwards. Like, yeah. this was good for us. Yeah. So I thought it was positive. I seen, I seen y'all over there vibing afterwards. I said, you know, I don't want no part of that. Didn't you go out there and cheat it? Woman, please. I have I'm never just dated here. a married man. Oh, come on, y'all. You get the step. She's over here being very ghetto at me. She's was. the one that's got a husband and a boyfriend, so don't be trying to put me in that situation. I put that on, I put that on social media myself. Wait, hold on, I'm sorry. I put all this out there. Okay. I was just putting two and two together. Oh, yeah, your two and two is wrong. Listen, you know, mm. my mom and Wanda hadn't seen each other in a very long time. And I ain't gonna lie, when I saw her, honestly, I was kind of happy to see her. I hadn't mm -hmm. seen her in a while. You know, I spoke to her, hey, gave her a hug and everything, how you doing? But no, what she did, said to my mother, that's it out of, was that's like, out of control. Nah, stop. I don't care if it was true, I don't care if you had all the proof. I mean, why? Right. Why, why are you walking up to somebody and saying that? Right. You don't say that to anybody anyway. While I agree with Marceau, I find it very confusing because he didn't seem to think it was inappropriate last year when he was spreading rumors and stories about my mother. That junk that Marceau did, talking about he had a sex tape of me. For you to be like, oh, well, what if I have a video of someone's mother? I didn't say I had a video. I said someone had a video. Okay, it doesn't matter. I don't, I don't know, but honey, it was. I felt like it was a mama gone wild moment for a minute, because those two, you hey, know what I'm saying? Hey, what's hey. up? You look so pretty. You look cute. Thank you. Overall, what happened with my mom and Miss Van was not, you know, okay. And it wasn't good that it happened at the race. But at least it feels good that Mel and I, we're on the same page. I'm happy that this happened at a time that Mel and I, we're in a good space. Hello, hello, hello. Mama. Hey, Breeze. Hey, Breeze. Hey, you, you made them. Tonality is incorporated. <laughs> the gang's all here almost. Hey, <laughs> It's, it's definitely Melody as Holtz's office. It's, it's a bit weird that I'm saying Melody's office as opposed to saying our office. As soon as I didn't renew that lease, Melody threw pictures up there on the wall. It's, it's beautiful though, I tell you. I mean, she did an amazing, she did an amazing job with the office, but it was, it was still a shock to me. I see you got a bag on the table. You got some old comeback group stuff up in there? Uh, kind of old, kind of new. What's new? I felt like before moving on to a new venture, 
that maybe we should kind of tie up the ends to the comeback group one way or another. Um, and I've mentioned it a couple times, but I think now is the most opportune time. I had had conversation with Mel in regards to um, y'all dissolving Houghton Hope. Mm -hmm. And in the bylaws of our company, when you dissolve one of the entities, because you know our comeback group was whole, it was, whole, it was the, three, the it was attached to the business. Yeah. Um, and so when I was talking to Mel, I wanted to make sure y'all two were aware of that. Um, and then the conversation about you and Marceau doing some dealings with the 47 acres, mm -hmm. I felt like we needed to tie up the comeback group. I just, it just, something needs to come to pass with what it's going to be. We acknowledged that back when we talked about it. Um, 2019? Yeah, 2019. <laughs> Mel wanted to dissolve it, mm -hmm. and we didn't. Oh, yeah, I remember. I don't want to make a commitment to something that I'm knowing I don't want to make a commitment to because that's what he wants to do. I'm just bothered. I mean, we're going to stay a yeah, part yeah, of it, yeah. just period. We go. Who is the we? But I officially pulled out the comeback group in 2019. In 2019? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. You can pull out and still have a baby. Yeah. Listen. That's fair. <laughs> I'm just saying, pulling out never. Pulling out never. never Speaking ne of babies, Martell, where the kids at? Pull out has in never been effective method. Say what? In your, why are you saying it like that? They in my office. <laughs> You know, you're about to get upset. I said the kids in your office, good lord, they ain't gonna tear up nothing. No, they're always up here, however. They're always up here, however. When my kids in my office, first off, I'm gonna speak to them. Second of all, I'll make sure they keep my office in check. I cannot. I close you. Yeah. I cannot. Hey, you see? Dang. Yeah. That's that gangster so right there. At that time, you still wanted to be in. She wanted to be out. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, like, what's the skinny? I'm still open, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel it's, um, it's a good purpose. You've been a good girl. You've been good. How you doing? Good. Good. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm still for the community, and I feel like, I think it's been some time now for everybody to really have thought about what they want to do, and everybody's really moving in the community already. Right. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel that, I think one of you guys had mentioned a long time ago, it's like we will meet at some point mm -hmm. in terms of yeah. your endeavors, mm -hmm. your own endeavors, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think everybody's moving, everybody's shaking, and I mean, if you guys want to put, tie it all together, I mean, it's here, you know? You guys, y'all having a good week? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna come back and see y'all. I just wanted to come check on you real fast. I think that we have to figure out how we're gonna have decent meetings. Correct. We simply cannot have that dysfunction. If we're gonna do it again, we have to be very clear what is the project we're working on and when do we finish it? Well, the good thing is that if we're talking like about it. working- Are we taking a boat? On what? Who wants to be in the comeback group and who don't? <laughs> Why don't we individually, if we see a project and we say, oh man, it looks like something a comeback group can be a part of, then we have a direct focus, uh, you know, a specific purpose, and then we can organize under that effort and go forward. I think that's great. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, I won't be able to be a part. Guys, are we doing Hold something? Are we, are, we, are, we, are we doing something here? Oh, because, I'm I'm thinking, because he gave me a look with them lips, so I just went to him. I feel like we're doing something that we're not doing, because we thought we were having a little meeting, but now nah, like you guys are having a little meeting on the side. Why, like, why have you gotten upset with me? OK, so let me tell you the sneaky snake stuff that sneaky I can Sneaky snake? What so the hell? when I'm watching our daughter, for you to go to a meeting to pitch someone else to build on something that you have expressed to the realtor, Chris, I know y'all two had a meeting with the realtor, Chris, where y'all tried to throw your little jabs and jokes and stuff about me building on the 47 acres. No, we no jabs yes, and jokes. Oh, OK, sorry. we'll all see it. What the? You, you be tripping, yeah, man. Yeah, I know. Marcel, don't even lie for that? him. Lie? For what? But um, so How would what you hear I'm about saying, a meeting? <laughs> Were you there? I, I've talked to the person who was. Smell. We, so, we've been so, good. So now it's like you just turn okay. on, turn off. So, so, Something so, but here's happened. The thing. I'm I will tell you if you shut your mouth, I can let you know. OK. You're not going to be disrespecting me like okay, that. OK, well, let me talk. God, what's wrong with y'all? Like y'all just. Let me talk then. You asking oh, no, a question, but no. you're not letting me answer. Right, go. Go ahead. Melody and Martell clearly came in and finished whatever conversation they were having before. 
So whatever page they were on when they left that conversation and decided to come to this meeting, they picked it right back up when they got in here. I don't know what the heck is wrong with them right now. I'm not interested in doing anything when it comes to Martell. And that's all You didn't want to do this a, a few years ago anyway with the comeback group. Okay, so that's now because it's the all same of thing. us know now was because all of us were into it. There was conflict with almost everybody at this table. And it, and it stemmed from you. No, it didn't stem from me, it actually. From it actually didn't stem from me. You love to believe that, but that's not no, accurate. No, I don't, because I was, I was always accurate. trying to, like, push away from conflict. I didn't want us to be in conflict, but it, it was created by you. How did I create it? I hate uh, I don't when people say things that. and they lie and can't back it up. How did yeah, I create conflict? That, that's your favorite question. How can I create How, how did, this? How how did, did I that? create it? What I would love to do is continue to do what I've been <clears> doing, <throat> is what I've said I've wanted to do since 2019. Thank you, Kimmy. Which is what, I would love the to kids? support. You gotcha. said what? Come on, Martell, man. If I'm I gone. neglect Martell. the kids, if you think I neglect the kids, then why you ain't filed for full custody? I, 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 I did. Martell. At one point, you yeah. said okay about it. No, you just told me a month or two ago that you was going to give me full custody. What? Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Hello? Hey, Mel. I need to talk to Mariah. She's over here crying really bad. It's like they argue at every single thing. As long as this is going on, I'll never do business with them, ever. Martell, I have not, as of late at all, been bothering you on, on social media. What you should be doing is worrying about what you was doing while you were married and not here in these Huntsville streets. You too. So you I'm single. No, I did not. You're lying. Prove it. love to do is continue to do what I've been mm -hmm. doing is what I've said I've wanted to do since 2019. Thank you, Kimmy. Mm -hmm. Which is what, I would love to kids? support. You gotcha. said what? Come on, Martell, man. If I'm I gone. neglect Martell. the kids, if you think I neglect the kids, why you ain't filed for full custody? I, 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 I did. Martell. At one point, you yeah. said okay about it. No, you just told I'm me gone, a month or two ago that you was going to give me full custody. Golly. What? Can I ask y'all something? Why do y'all want to do business with Martell? People ask me all the time, do you think you and Martell get back together? Do you think y'all can get back years now? The answer is no, and it has nothing to do with him cheating on me, and it has nothing to do with a baby. It has everything to do with the morals and integrity that, and the man that I've seen you to be. That was quick. Mm -hmm. Dad, 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 everything was so quick. So my question is, y'all have seen this too. Why y'all so dead set on doing business with him? But Mel, all of us had a good working relationship. If we can eliminate a lot of the BS, we can work well together. Because we all bring different perspectives well, to certain things. Well, I'm gonna be very honest change. with you guys. <clears throat> it doesn't take me long to learn a lesson. Facts, and that's Damn. what I'm saying. Martell's a great business guy, and Martell has proven himself over time uh, to be a pretty reliable friend. But Martell is choosing to lose his cool when it comes to interacting with Melody. In the end, it's not going to bode well for him. Here's what people, I think, don't do. After they know that this person is this person, mm -hmm. they keep trying to be surprised when that person is doing what that person does. Thanks. It wouldn't be a comeback group meeting without at least someone arguing. That's fair. Mel and Martell usually aren't the ones that are arguing. It's usually, you know, one group versus the other group. But this is new. This is different. Y'all were everything to each other, interwoven completely. So why am I OK? Because I'm OK. You know why? Why? Because you're winning. Had your ass been losing, you wouldn't be in such a great place. That's how life is, OK? Hello? Hey, Mel. I need to talk, talk to Mariah. She's over here crying, like, um, really bad. What's wrong? Uh, I don't know. I was trying to bring her back up to, to you. Yeah, you can br yeah, bring her back up here. I'm about to be pulling in now. OK. <laughs> All right. Mm. I guess it's a wrap. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, yeah I got to go. Yeah, what's wrong? What's the matter? Come on. Come on, come inside with me. Come to my office. Come inside. Come on.
When I left, Mariah, she was crying. And I'm like, what's wrong, sweetheart? And she had mentioned that the office used to be yours and mommy's, and, and now it's just mommy's, you know? She's our first, so she re remembers everything. And uh, when she hurts, I'm, I hurt. I want us in a better place. I want us all to be in a better place. This is I the co-parenting. This is the the, yeah, the, the cusp. Yeah. yeah. I want to go home in peace. Right. With kids. So yeah. Well, you but started the kids aren't in real peace. good before you got uh, to the peace part. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I know I shouldn't hit below the belt, but you know when certain things come at me, it's like I gotta fight back a little bit. Look, look at me, okay, for real. Internalize this, please. Stop putting this out there, Martel. No, this I, is a I, life. I, I know you're this, right. You see what's in the car right yeah. here? This is a lifelong battle. Right. You yeah. don't get this back. Right. And you're gonna be explaining the same exact story when you're 50 and when you're 60 to your kids who are old. Stop it. Yeah, I understand. We all have ghosts They come and find us yeah. All right, bro. All right, man. All right, man. I appreciate it, like always. I definitely feel embarrassed uh, that we're continuing um, to display, we can't control ourselves or something like that. You know, stop taking daggers at each other. And I feel that it has to come to an end. We have four children, and it's like, we're gonna be in each other's lives for the rest of our lives. So I think that we, we have to take a different approach, a more respectable um, approach, a more loving approach. Um, yeah, we, we have to. We love our babies. Both of us love our children. And I want them to know that we as parents, we're here to hear you out. We're here to support you and offer you um, love and encouragement because that's what we're, that's what we want to do. Because at the end of the day, the kids are the most important thing. Most important. Where y'all about to go? Home. Okay, I'll call you when I leave here. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. We did a dual counseling session with uh, Dr. Francis. Word. Right? He told me, you effectively have two wives. That's like a stretch. Oh, Bruh, man. it's the Range Rover. What's up, man? So I want us to have a conversation about boundaries. You matching my style, I want you to match this game. Okay. Have you played before? Uh, no, so I haven't played. I can't, I don't even know if I can get the ball. I don't know why you suggest tennis. So that we don't get beat in tennis. That's fair. With an impromptu tennis game. That's fair. I am pretty proficient in football. Basketball, yes. But we started golfing and softball, and now tennis. So I'm gonna brush up on some tennis, make sure Marcel brushes up, I can kick his butt, and then we'll be ready just in case we get challenged in the future. 90% of any sport is the look. Is the look, that's it. If Maurice can do it, I can beat his ass in anything. You can't mess with me in tennis. Ah, bad serve, I get two of them. Huh? I get two of them. Well, that wasn't it. <laughs> ah! Woo -hoo! Athlete right there. The Scots are the male version of the Williams sisters, I think. We're on our way up, guys. Look out for us. Man, this is the first time I've seen you since uh, our comeback meeting. Oh, yeah. Mel and Martell, it's like they argue at every single thing. People act like they don't know how to act. Mm -hmm. They act like they can't control themselves. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can control yourself in the right situation. You know how to shut up. <laughs> you just don't know how to shut up when you think you can uh, avoid the consequences. As long as this is going on, I'll never do business with them, ever. Like, dude's a train wreck. I'm not willing to chance it. Uh-huh. That's irresponsible of me, dog. Right. I'm not gonna put my name on something that I gotta come back and apologize, not for my employee, not for a manager, mm -hmm. but a partner. Right. My family eats off my decisions. Ain't no way in hell. 
it would be a poor decision for me to go into business with Martell in this state of volatility, especially if there's a potential for Melody to be involved. I'm simply not gonna hang my business reputation on the hopes that Martell can control himself, especially when he has not done it thus far. Like, I took another step with Martell, even going to counseling. We did uh, a dual counseling session with uh, Dr. Francis. Word. Right? And Dr. Francis is a good therapist, bro. He might be good for you, Reese. I'm just saying, he's Y'all think alike. He was talking to me about relationship, me as a guy. He helped me see something that was like, Life-changing, real talk. All right, well, tell, tell me. He told me, a lot of people look at entrepreneur like it's a job, right? right? I look at an entrepreneur as that's who you are. I agree. When Dr. Francis says, you effectively have two wives. Maurice, that's like, a stretch. But the analogy makes sense. One wife won't leave you if you're out all night working. The other one is a living human being that needs your time. After having that conversation, what I found was I'm the one creating my stress. When you create your own valuation of life, you can create your own problems. I think that Marcel's a pretty logical thinker, but his thought process on therapy doesn't seem like he's put enough thought into it. You don't know what you don't know, and I think that if you dig deep, that you'll find some answers, especially if you're going to a professional and not yourself. What I got out of it is, I'd rather scale back or make myself more efficient at work and spend time with my babe because my babe might not be here all the time. Now, I can still achieve what I want to if I become more efficient, and I look at that as a problem to solve. Let me ask you a question. How do you become more efficient? I have to work on my system, brother. But you're investing time to save time. That's facts. And so when you come at life in the middle of your investment and say it's not paying off, Uh you have to say, I'm in the middle of building. I get it, but this is the thing. If you don't know the destination... But what if you do, though? But I, oh, so you have a situation where you know the I'm destination. I'm saying I've got cutoff date, I've got exact plan. I've been trying to say this. I've set up some things and I had some plans a while back that brought me to this point. And now that I'm arriving at this point, it's not time to derail the plans. But I do see the light at the end of the tunnel. If I didn't see the light at the end of the tunnel, then I think that's the time where I need to uh, solicit advice from others. I'm not against therapy, but at the same time, I just don't feel like it's needed right now. Sometimes you gotta press through. I expect you guys to overreact. Ain't no problem with that. When you can't, you can't say depression and then there's an overreaction. Not with people that love you. I I get it. I think there's an overreaction based on what it actually is. You gotta have a strong circle around you that knows when this is prolonged. Uh And so I'm kind of telling you to hold me accountable to make sure that this doesn't become a problem. You feel me? I think that Marcel's a pretty logical thinker. And he reasons his way in or out of things. You know, you never can fix what you're not aware of as far as problems are concerned. And what you don't want to do is bury your head in the sand and act like you don't have the problems because they just don't go away. I think he might have been dealing with something at that moment, and now he believes he's past it. This reminds you like, uh, you know, when we were younger and the street lights came on? Time yeah. to go. <laughs> All right, this is the last one. <laughs> Yes, sir, you see this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll, bro. That's game, set, match, Reese, I won. No, you didn't. If you'll lie in a one-on-one setting, you'll lie anywhere. Okay, Dr. Francis. You, know, what you won't do is rewrite this history. The Tisha has been over to Scott Imperium before, but this is Mel's first time coming to our building. And we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna, you know, have some drinks, do some girl talk. It's reminiscent of when we would hang out prior to the multiple disagreements. Right, that's somebody saying. <laughs> You remember what I like, Kimmy? <laughs> I try. Thank you. I try. I know Thank she's you. a red, you're a white. I just, <laughs> yes. I do the best yes. I can with white. It was priceless memories. There you go. Yes. Oh. That's two to three. The last time we were chilling out, we were at your house. Hey, and now we've got new people added to the circle. Uh, For real, we could use Tiffany right now making some drinks. 
Um, that girl so, knows she can make some drinks. Can she? She's definitely <laughs> good for that. So, um, what was going on with you and Mr. Martell the other day at the comeback group meeting? Well, I think that it was uh, an example of what typically happens when Martell and I are together. He <laughs> says little things that um, are like taking jabs, mm -hmm. and so then I respond, but I don't start nothing. He said something out that was out of, inappropriate to me. Mm -hmm. Like, it's my week, I got them. And it's like, you think I'm gonna be, my kids gonna be in my office, I'm not gonna go speak to them? Like, quit trying to pray and wish that I was a bad mom. I, yeah, I don't, like, I don't agree it. with that. I don't, I don't like that at all. Yeah, I think stop. that's not cool. So he's had the kids since we left the meeting? Uh-huh, yeah. How's it's Mariah? This week. Mariah's good. Um, I think for Mariah, it was either her feeling the energy from her dad when he went in there, because remember, he left the meeting upset. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So either feeling the energy and as a nine-year-old thinking, what's wrong, what's mm -hmm. happened? And plus, mommy said she's gonna come see us before mm -hmm. we leave. Mm -hmm. Now, if he had walked in there and said, hey guys, we about to get ready to go, um, go say bye to your right, mom. Right, 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 mm -hmm. right, right, right. You different. know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. So those kind of considerations have to start happening. You're right about that, girl. How do we help you handle the situation with Martel when those kind of things come up? Like, what's our role at that point? Right, that's a very good question. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. I know you guys were talking about the group text. She was just Even being petty by trying to get an attitude with me about it. You do stuff all the time on social media. So now, That's true. yeah, you know, I'm like, what's up, man? That's you stop childish. doing stuff. Everything you're doing, especially on social media, is childish. I'm much rather do something in your face. How do we help you handle the situation with Martel when those kind of things come up? Right, that's a very good question. Um don't have us in the same room together no more. Is that how you feel, like, at the end of the day? And I'm asking this because, yeah. you know, we do stuff. And yeah. there have been times we've come to you and said, is this cool, is it not cool? Yeah, at this have. juncture, are you feeling like, just no, I don't want to be in the room with him. If y'all do something, I don't, just don't ask me. That'd be great. Really? Yeah, until he grows up some. He's got some, you know, maturing to do. Hanging out, kicking it around each other? Yeah, no, nah, I'm good on that. I'm hoping that you and Martel would get there. I have very little doubt mm -hmm. that we won't get there eventually. Martel and I cannot be together right now. I go into a situation wanting to be positive, um, wanting to not fuss, not argue, but he always does the same thing. He throws jabs and comes for me. And I may let the first one slide, but after that, I'm gonna come back for you. So then it ends up just being ridiculous. You two, how, how have you guys been doing? Um, like, I know you guys were talking about the group text. Was your issue that Tiffany and Destiny were in the text message just instead of just me, you, and Tisha? Oh. Historically, she's called me. But I text too. Historically, She's called me we multiple times. We wasn't times. good, so that's why she felt like it wasn't. Uh, I can see that. It's that's like, why. And to be yeah. fair, yeah. I think because we yeah. weren't good, she put it in the mm -hmm. text group. That's not true. I was putting a reminder together. I wasn't even thinking about like making phone calls. I was just, it was on my mind, so let me send texts out. It was nothing, nothing more, nothing less. I think it just gets blown out of proportion because we weren't in the best, best place. place. Mm -hmm. um, and she was just even, being petty by trying to get an attitude with me about it. It doesn't really take a lot for either of us to kind of push a button or assume that the next person is pushing a button because of where we are right now. It's not cool. Originally, I didn't think twice about it because I knew I hadn't texted back, but I had signed up to volunteer. Mm -hmm. But then I guess when the conversation went further to say, you know, only Destiny and Melody sponsored and did this and did that, that's probably when I got petty to okay. be fair, because we've given checks to Scott 1.0 for everything that y'all have done. Right, you, you, I, I, you, Let me finish. I never said let you guys did sponsor, I, 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 let me, didn't let me, do anything. Let me, I'm talking, wait, wait, wait. Okay. I, um, I just don't always feel like when we're in Discord 
that I get the benefit of the doubt. We've sponsored debutantes, we've done kings to queens, we've done $1,500 uh, memberships. We've done that, though. No, 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 T. Y'all checks we're it, y'all right. We're honoring Troy to watch Jalen pledge. Don't do that. We both Tisha, support Tisha, each other's stuff. Tisha, I hear what you're saying. Uh -huh. You did drive to Troy. I give you that. Yes. That does not compare to the amount of checks that we write for y'all. I don't know why we're playing tip for tat. Who keeps tabs on who's supporting who more? I didn't know we was keeping tabs on that. So now I need to just pull out my phone and pull up all the things I've done for her. I threw her bash in the red, I threw her bridal showers, because that's what friends do. They're there for you. That text message was clearly only a reminder. Nothing more, nothing less. Maurice was supposed to have written the check. Unbeknownst to me, I didn't know he hadn't given mm -hmm. you the check. Because normally, when he's tardy, you'll call me and you'll say, Maurice ain't get a check yet. Are y'all gonna donate? We need it by Friday. Oh, I didn't say, well, Kimmy, I guess you ain't sponsoring things with me no more. I, I didn't, I no, didn't I do said, it like when that. When you said it, you said nobody replied. I said I went straight to the website and I signed up to volunteer. Yeah. And you said that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about sponsoring I money. I said it like that. I was talking about the sponsorship. You cleared up the fact that me volunteering wasn't what your intent was for that text. It was about the money. And so I had no idea he hadn't sent it. Mm -hmm. And so I think it falls into that same Tiffany category as far as timing for us. In order for us to be working on stuff moving forward, like just having that conversation in that moment to imply that they were the only people sponsoring your event, I just didn't, I didn't care for it. I wasn't mad or angry or upset. I just didn't care for it. Kimmy is not understanding what I'm saying. Right now, she's just, you know, she's like, whatever. And frankly, I'm tired of explaining myself. I'm just, I'm, I'm tired of explaining myself. You know what? It happened. It is what it is. Moving forward, I know to call. Make sure I call. Oh, yay. Up. That's so. what I love. Resolution. Resolution. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I cherish you. I cherish our friendship Aww. and our relationship and our sisterhood. Cute. I mean, I even look Shut up, up to you. Know. So, yeah. <laughs> group hug. <laughs> group hug. That's uh, okay. Aww. We're group Maggie, hugging. Not with you. <laughs> Don't be a party pooper. I'm not going to be a party pooper. <laughs> But I'm drinking now, and I will be drinking after. Oh, what are you doing now? Oh, I'm having. That's why you got that little short get them girl dress on. Well, honey, you know, don't try to keep up with me. <laughs> <laughs> easy, no mind. Oh, yep, easy yeah. access. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no mind. Listen, happy hour. You know, they all know I don't drink too often. However, I'm pretty sure that I can find a man who will treat me better than Martel ever did. And of course, I may have plans afterwards, so I'm gonna come up in here ready. So if I do wanna go somewhere else, I'm gonna be ready to go. You stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready. <laughs> it's very cute. <laughs> She's single. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. You don't no, see me no, calling no, no, all no, the no, women over the state so, so, that you so, gotta so, sleep so, with. So, so, Prove so, so, it. People around. Tell the truth. People well, around. Over -talking I'm sorry. Stop. You're being disrespectful. Of course I'm gonna be disrespectful. For okay? what? I'm not your woman no more. Man, hot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, What's going man. on? Uh, Rufus should be in uh, this this Saturday. So everything like windows, doors, all that kind of stuff is already ordered and all it's that? It's already ordered. Because, you know, because of COVID and all that, man, if you, you get everything, hold on to it's it. It's all back ordered, so you got to get it ahead of time. Yeah, and hold yeah. on to it. Right, yeah. right. So I'm definitely looking forward to wrapping this project up so Fred and I, we can go in and, you know, get our profits and move on to the next property. So at this point, we have the house enclosed, the, the roof is on, and now we're l waiting for inspection um, to get the insulation in, and get drywall up, and, you know, start knock everything else out. How's that studying coming along? Man. Come on now. I ain't gonna lie, man. I got motivated one night when I had them four kids. What you mean you got motivated one night? Man, yeah. I had them kids told me, hey, look, y'all go in there and sit down. I got them books. I looked at it briefly, man, and I'm like, damn. So, I haven't studied. Which, I which studied. software you using? What, who? No, no, just the books. Well, oh, man, come on, man. Bro, look, I, I got a software. I am not lying, man. At first, I ain't a test taker. 
And I guess prepping for it, you know, it's like, ah, dang. You need to focus, Doc. Yeah, it's no, real talk. No, no, I am focused um, just not on, on that studying right on that now. Study. You feel me? Yeah. I'm focused on a whole lot of things. The home builder's license right now at a high priority. Follow me. I, I ain't saying that I'm, I'm I'm on your back. I mean, but we we business partners. And I mean, you we, got it. You follow what I'm I saying? Got so, it, but I just want you to have it as well. I'm I'm you know, it. You know, you know. Uh, bruh. Hey, I. Man, on the FaceTime. <laughs> Hold on. Oh lord. Hey Marcel. Hey, hey Miss Holt, how you doing? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, what's up? Um, I really would rather have it in person. Are you busy? Can I swing by wherever you are? Hey, is that cool with you? I mean, you said it's important, so is it about the kids? I'll be right on over. All right. Appreciate it. All right. All right. Okay, really, it's, by, oh, it's only one reason Nelly could want to come over here and talk to me. Um, I screwed up last night. Goddamn, she appeared, goddamn. What she Like Freddy Krueger. <laughs> That's not like her. Oh, OK. To want to meet in person anyway. But oh, okay. I mean, we'll see. Do I need to leave? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, not like that. Oh, when she get here, we walking all the way down there. Oh, huh? OK. Nah. I got you. <laughs> no telling, because every time we've gotten together, you know, it's always been some kind of no. off the wall. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, we don't need the neighbors to know your name. Uh <laughs> 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 I wonder where she going to pull up in. A, a limo in the back seat. <laughs> no, it ain't like that, is it? No one hung out there. Yeah. No, it's probably a Range. Did she, did she have a Rover? One of the Range Rover or something like that? Yeah. Bruh, yeah. it's the Range Rover. Good, let me walk over here before she run over here. OK. All right. <laughs> I don't want you to hear whatever she about to say. OK. <laughs> what's up, ma'am? Hey, what's up? Thank you for, uh, I guess, taking time out your Work schedule. Oh, no, it's cool. So I wanted to talk to you um, for a moment about what happened at Bridge Street. So I wanted to talk to you um, for a moment about what happened at Bridge Street. So I want us to have a conversation about boundaries, about respect, and what that looks like for us when it comes to us. Because what happened is that was out of line, totally out of line and unnecessary. Mel, listen, it's like when you do something, it's, it's cool. Like, you do stuff all the time on social media. Like what? I'm saying when I even mentioned I had a, a baby or something like that, you went straight to social media. So now when, when, I, when I see you with a dude, it, it was a shocker to me. You know, it's the first time me saying something like that. So, hell yeah. You know, I was like, what's up, man? So you walked over there, you, we told. Yeah. And I told you I was coming over to Condor's where you was going to be at. You didn't tell me you were coming here. You said, I, where y'all going? I said, I'll be over there. No, <laughs> I, no. Oh, it doesn't matter. No. Um, I had all intentions to come over there. But for what? Because I wanted to. I saw her at a restaurant. You know, she said she was on a, on a date. I'm like, oh, OK. Like, you had a whole business meeting. Somebody you told me flew in from LA. So you step out of a business meeting deal possibility to address your ex-wife about her being out in public with someone, and you got them waiting on you. Then you probably ended the damn meeting in 15 minutes just so you could come No, no, I, it don't matter. It does matter. To me, no. So this it, it, is what I'm cool. saying, when you talk about your business reputation and trying to get things back however you want them to be, that's you stop childish. Doing stuff. Everything you're doing, especially on social media, is childish. I'd much rather do something in your face, um, in your presence, than hide behind what? a damn computer. Martel, I have not, as of late at all, been bothering you Wait, on, listen, on social listen. media. Like, you literally was like, uh-uh, you, uh, uh, are you on the day? I said, I'm walking out at Brishy. Oh, uh, now you're going to be my wife again. No, all I, ain't, I ain't say I don't want oh, you to be okay. my wife again. Okay, Martel, okay, Martel, <clears throat> whatever you like to say. I don't want you to be my wife well, again. Well, that's not what, what you, you just said. That it, that, I just said I don't want you to be my wife again. I told that's, you that before. That's not what you, I, that's I, not what I, you I, just I, said the What I've said day. in the past is only way that I would be with you is, is only because of my children. <clears throat> Martel Hope, let's see. And my thing is, why are we even discussing stuff like this? I mean, do you want, you trying to get what your do dude you some, some airtime? What do you mean? Like, what, bet. 
funny. Th that's what you've flown with at our favorite restaurant. How you gonna take another dude to like the that's family? Me, that's my favorite restaurant. No, that, that, that was a fa that's family favorite restaurant. restaurant. Martel, let me say I'm I'm so just, let, me like, like, like that. let me be clear. Like that. Let me be clear. Let me be clear. Let me be clear. Last I checked, look, I'm single. Look, look at that. Last I checked, I know, I know. last I but checked, I'm single. Do better. No, you really no, need no, to do no, better. No, 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 do better. And what you should be doing is worrying about what you was doing while you were married and not here in these Huntsville streets. You too. So I'm single. No, I did not. You're lying. No, I did not. Prove it. You don't see me calling so, all your, no, you don't no, see me no, calling no, all I'm, the women I'm, I'm over the state so, so to state listen, that you so, gotta so, sleep so, with. So, so, you don't so, so, see me listen. say anything about them. And look, so, Prove so, so, it. People around. Tell the truth. People well, around. Over -talking me. I'm sorry. Pulling up the little video. Yeah, Thank you, because you what were you recording us for? Stop. For what? Stop. You're being disrespectful. Of course I'm gonna be disrespectful. For what? I'm not your woman no more. So what you being disrespectful for? Next on Love and Marriage Huntington. So, speaking of Kai, I just didn't like the fact that she was slandering your name. Kai knew it wasn't true. She knew Everybody it. Well, knew it wasn't true. Well, you know, true. your, your sister-in-law, Tisha, she didn't have your back. You I must be Tisha. I am. Hey, babe. Who's that? It's a surprise. He wanted us to come help you guys get better with your money communication. Oh, it's money counseling. <laughs> Me and Martel, we went to therapy, or a, a guy session, I guess, with Dr. Francis. And he said that I'm mixing my work as my second wife. We've never, like, had a conversation. But I was like, I don't know anything negative about Tiffany. I know she was, you know, married one time. She's divorced. I know we've been talking about like sponsorship, and I never received a check from you. Yeah, that was underneath the bus. Well, could... you did reply to the text message. It doesn't matter when the check came. Oh. We signed oh. up to volunteer and we wrote the check.